Hey, this is Adam from Work While Walking. Today I'll be assembling the Uplift V2 commercial standing desk. As you can see, I have laid out all the parts to get started. My work surface is another desk, which I'd highly recommend. It just gets everything up higher and much easier to reach. If you do use another desk to work on, make sure you have someone to help you lift the desk down when you're done because it will be very heavy. The first step is to attach the legs to the crossbars. Um, I could tell right away this is going to be difficult just as far as fit with the screws. Uh, there appeared to be some paint in the threads which made them hard to get started and uh, as you can see it was also difficult just to get the holes lined up. This step alone took about 10 minutes. Uh, the second leg goes in faster as I was able to get the holes lined up more quickly. I decided to do this assembly as the instruction manual says with the tools provided, but a cordless screwdriver would certainly speed things up if you have that available. I mentioned it before, but again the paint in the holes was difficult because you have to bust through it and it almost feels like you're cross-threading the screws as they were going in. But once I got past that, they go in and you just have to um, work around the limitations of the Allen wrench to get them all the way in place. The next step is to slide the side brackets into the crossbar ends. This step took about eight minutes, and that was mostly getting the brackets far enough into the crossbar so the holes lined up. It was quite difficult, and you'll see me trying to get different angles and different approaches to get them in place. Once they were in place, these screws were easier than the first batch to actually tighten. The next step is to Get the crossbar rails into the crossbar ends. This was fairly smooth and easy. Just slip them in and try to get them fairly centered. I have cleared the workspace for this next step and brought up the desktop, which is laying on the workspace upside down. And I've set the leg assembly in place. It is lined up with the pre-drilled holes one thing to note, when you are lining the leg assembly up with the pre-drilled holes, you don't want to slide the leg assembly because it can pull the rubber grommets on the frame out of place. So lift it up um, to make those little adjustments that you need to make to get it lined up. The next step is to fasten down the crossbar ends and attach the crossbar to the leg. I already have the screws out of their packaging here, and they were much easier than the screws in the first step. So it was pretty quick to slide the center indicator mark to the middle of the disc, and then tighten everything down. Next is installing the power control unit. After that, the keypad installation and all of the power cables. The thing to note with the keypad is just keep it on the opposite side that you'll want it when it's upright because again, the desk is upside down. The cables all reached correctly and plugged in correctly as they were listed in the directions. This was fairly smooth. Next is installing the feet. And you can see here I have the screws out of their packaging and the feet out of the box. This all went pretty quickly. The, um, the screws went in smoothly and tightened easily. Moving on to the crossbar installation. I did this with the Allen wrench that's provided, but this is one of several steps that will be much easier and faster with a cordless screwdriver. The crossbar is heavy, and this part was difficult. It would have been easier with the helper to hold the crossbar in place to get the screws started. 
it was time consuming to screw the screws in because you couldn't get a lot of rotation on the Allen wrench. This whole step took about four minutes. We've reached the final step in assembly, which is to insert the crossbar set screws to lock everything into place. Overall, among standing desks, this was a difficult assembly, including all the things you saw me doing um, in time to read instructions, find the right screws, all that sort of stuff. It took about 45 minutes total. Here you can see me testing the stability of the desk from a couple of different angles. It is quite stable side to side um, and more wobbly front to back, especially when elevated. The front to back stability was more concerning because that's obviously much more important for regular standing desk use. Here's a look at the keypad. It's fairly simple with up down buttons as well as memory preset positions. Here I checked the collision sensor. You can see it's very sensitive. Just putting my hand on it sets it off. You can see the grommet holes are not finished all the way around, which would leave them susceptible to damage from any sort of liquid spill. Overall, this is a solid desk. It's very stable side to side when lowered. It also goes lower than the standard uplift B2. On the negative side, it is a difficult assembly. It's quite wobbly when elevated. The crossbar is cumbersome, and the finish wasn't great. Be sure to check out the full review on workwalking.com where we take a very in-depth look at this desk as well as hundreds of other ergonomic and active workstation products.